There are many things that make the University of Wisconsin-Madison so great. The amazing people, the beautiful campus, and its undeniably strong academics. However, the quality of certain lecture halls at UW-Madison has created a barrier of education for students forced to take courses in these rooms. Most large lecture halls are left uncleaned for days and make hearing the instructor a challenge. Frequently, lectures are far too packed. This class has 160 people in it, meaning 60% of the class is touching shoulders. Desks are too small and even slanted. This is what a student attending UW-Madison had to say about the quality of lecture halls at this school. So uh, today I'm here with um, Zeb Grove. He's a sophomore at UW-Madison. And um, I'm just going to ask him a few questions today. So first, Zeb, have you ever felt that you've had a, um, a bad experience with a lecture hall here due to, due to the quality of it? You know, I, uh, I certainly have. I, uh, I have a little bit of a, like a lower back problem. So when I sit in an uncomfortable like desk for too long, it uh, starts to hurt my back a lot. So sitting in these power lectures and, you know, wooden desks that hurt a lot, it's, it's not the most fun. And then there's also a lecture hall, I believe, in the agricultural hall where the desks like slide down. So I have my notes and you just keep sliding down. And that's yeah, I've actually annoying, but... had a class in that, uh, yeah. <laughs> in that room. Sorry to hear that. That's yeah. unfortunate. Um, yeah. So if you've definitely affected, like, felt like that's affected your ability to learn, I'm assuming that or no? Um, it can, definitely, yeah. If I get, like, uncomfortable or anything like that, I mean, you do your best to keep your mind off of it, but sometimes it can certainly, you know, affect your, like, paying attention to lecture. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for your time, Zeb. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Of course. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. So what can be done to remedy this problem? The Divisions of Facilities Planning and Management has a yearly budget of $227 million, and I believe this budget can afford to heighten spending in two different fields. First, enhancing the quality of clustered old lecture halls that fail to provide an appropriate environment for today's learning styles. Secondly, increased training and performance management for employees and supervisors. Also, since school is currently shut down, carrying out this plan now could lift the financial burden in many ways. Buildings are currently not in need of cleaning and day-to-day -day maintenance, and the issue of relocating lectures and available classroom space due to renovation will not be an issue. This can be done.